morning, my uh, fellow tactical gamers. I am bringing you another uh, grinding gears video as I'm casually driving my Logi truck around, just vibing the light squad. Uh, here to talk about, you know, some things in writing that slightly irk me. In this case, or today's topic, is the Oxford comma. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Oxford comma is when you have a list of things and, you know, you have this comma, this comma, this comma, and that other thing. The Oxford comma is the comma before the and. I am personally not a fan of the Oxford comma. Most people are. That is the normal modus operandi. And I'm not a fan. You know, we've already got an and there. Why do we need a comma to separate the list of things again? So you have this, comma, this, comma, this. They're all separated. And, and this. The and separates this and this. This and this. They're separated. You don't have this, comma, and this. The comma is superfluous and unnecessary. So, why is it a thing? Why do we use it? Why is it in common popular circulation? I don't understand. Yeah. You know, I could use that character for something else. For example, the, the Descendant, my currently published book, is just under, it's nearly precisely 60,000 words. It's like 59,960 or something like that. It's almost exactly 60,000 words. And of those 60,000 words, I'm sure 10 to 50 characters in that are... Oxford commas. If you take out those Oxford commas, oh, packet loss. Bad internet. If you take out those few Oxford commas, you know, that's a couple more words I could squeeze in. You know, without taking up page space. Without, uh. Here. Yeah, there we go. I don't think it's necessary. Why do we need an Oxford comma? Because there's already an and there. I think the Oxford comma is redundant and it needlessly takes up space and character count or even, you know, when printing a book, unnecessarily uses ink. Sure, the, the 50 characters in a 20,000 word book is going to make a huge difference. Sarcasm, if you can tell. But, even just for me as a writer writing it, you know, it takes me extra time to go back, because I don't use it regularly, but much to my uh, grinding of my gears. Publisher insists, must have Oxford comma. Editor says, there will be Oxford commas. So, the book and all the other books I've written and sent to them. Really? They all have Oxford commas. And I didn't write them that way. They were put in by the editors after the fact. Let's say we didn't do that. How much time would that have saved? You dig? You know, if there's already something there, why do we need another something? Anyway, I am of the small, mostly quiet minority of against the Oxford comma because 
everyone and anyone else that's a writer that I've ever met says you have to use the Oxford comma. It's tradition. It's the way it is. It's proper. I know, not personally, but I've read some things by a double PhD in English who says, you know, so long as your point is understood and people know what you're saying, it gets the point across, it's good grammar. So, why does good grammar dictate that I use an Oxford comma? When you can understand what I mean without an Oxford comma. You get my point. I don't use the Oxford comma. I don't think it's necessary. Everyone else does. rant. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay reading. Stay tactical. Party hardy.